Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. We apologize we haven't put out any videos recently. We've just been super busy with our full-time jobs, but we are excited to be back here at the shop. And today we're gonna cut a log on the sawmill, but before we get into that, I wanted to talk about our brand new chainsaw that we just added at our shop. And it is the Steel MSA 300 that we just picked up from our good friends over I4 Power Equipment. The MSA 300 sets the benchmark in performance as the most powerful battery chainsaw in the steel lineup. The saw offers a host of features to maximize performance and deliver optimal user comfort. It has a lightweight designed rubberized soft touch handle and anti-vibration technology to minimize fatigue. Like I've said in past videos, we get all of our steel chainsaws from our friends over at I4 Power Equipment right here in Plant City. If you guys need any chainsaws for your shop, I highly recommend you head over there um, and you'll get a discount if you mention that Triple L Rustic Design sent you. At a later date, we'll go into all the features of this chainsaw, but for today, I'm just gonna use it briefly to trim a log so we can get it up here on the sawmill. This is a log I'm gonna be cutting today. It does have a pretty good curve here in the middle, but I'm just gonna be cutting charcuterie board slabs. So I'm gonna cut this log right here in the middle to get rid of that curve. Um, and I'm gonna use the MSA 300 for that. But before I get started, I'm gonna hook up my safety gear. Easy. All right, guys, so I have a nice five foot long piece of monkey pot up here on the sawmill. I'm gonna clamp it down and I'm gonna cut it into inch and a half slabs that'll be perfect for jacuzzi boards or cutting boards.
All right, we just got three nice slabs out of there. Let's take them off the sawmill and see what they look like. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Right off the bat, you can see there's a little bit of spalting here, which is makes it a little bit cool and unique. We have some nice color through the middle, especially this dark brown right there. These can make really beautiful charcuterie boards once these are finished. We have a little cracking down here but we can fill that with epoxy, no problem. I'm excited for the next cuts as we get a little bit deeper into the log. All right, let's continue. Now I need to flip the log and then I'll continue my cups. I should get a couple more really nice slabs out of this log, so let's cut them and see. All right, I got three more slabs out of that one. Let's take these off and see what they look like. Nice, that one looks like has nice color. All right, I'm gonna grab my scraper. 
Ooh, nice. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, those turned out pretty nice. They'll, be, they'll make perfect charcuterie board, cutting board size slabs. I think our customers are gonna be really happy when they can get their hands on these. All right, I got four slabs out of that one. Let's pull them off and I'm gonna flip it and then continue my cuts. It's pretty soft down here. Nice, that's a nice board.
All right, that finished up the, that log. We got three more cuts out of that one. Let me pull these off and see what we got. Oh. Okay, some spalting there. Let me go grab the scraper. Right off the bat, I actually like the other slabs from the first half of the log we cut early just because of the coloring, but it still has some unique spalting. This end is pretty soft, but nonetheless, these will still make beautiful boards. And I know they're gonna turn out great. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video today. We got about 12 or 13 really nice charcuterie board slabs out of that log. I'm very happy with how they turned out. And once again, if you guys are in the market for a steel chainsaw, make sure you head over to I4 Power Equipment right here in Plant City and let them know that Triple L Rustic Design sent you for a discount on your purchase. And as always, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos. We'll see you in the next one.